hello everyone welcome to our channel code is arcade this is shank david and in today's video we are gonna talk about how you can rotate a array by one how a given array can be rotated so before i start with this video i would like to request you people to please like share and subscribe to our channel code is arcade and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates so now let's get right into this so in this question what we have been said that you have to rotate the array by one that means the 5 will come here and all 1, 2, 3 will go right. So in this case, I'm going to take that 5 here and I'm going to just select all the elements and I'm going to shift it by one position on the right hand side and then I'm going to store it to the first position. This is going to be the question here. So how to do this? The logic that we can apply here is that the idea can be like this. We can store this last element into some variable, let's say last element that has been stored now. Then we will run a for loop which will iterate over the given array and all the elements will be shifted to the right. Actually, the copy of the 5 has been made. So, when the right shift will happen, the 5 will get deleted but the other copy of the 5 will be stored into that other variable. Then what we can do is that we can take that variable and put that into the first index like this. This is the idea. Let's go ahead and work with the code in this case. I'll go to my VS code. We are in the VS code and now we will be seeing how we can do that in the program. So we have the main function here. Let's define an array int arr and equals to I'm going to take int arr as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And after this, we are going to define the size. So int size equals to, I'm going to say, to get the size, I can, what I can do is I can use the size of, and then I can pass the whole array divided by the size of the array's first element. So arr of zero in this case. So this is going to be the size. What we can do is now we can call the function that we are going to create here. And let us create that function. This function is going to have the void type, return type. And then let's name this function by as, uh, let's say, rotate array. Okay. And here this function will take int arr as the parameter and the int size. Okay. So now what we can do here is we can call that function here, rotate array. And then I can pass this arr, comma its size. Then later on, we can just print out the array. So here, what will be the logic? The logic would look somewhat like this. First, let us in create a last element variable in which I'm going to store the ARR of um, size minus 1, n minus 1 or the size minus 1 in this case. This will allow us to store that 5 into one variable called as last element. And then after this, what we are going to do here is uh, we are going to shift all the elements to the right hand side. So we can just create a for loop which will start from int i equals to I will start from the last element size minus 1. Then I can just say I will go greater than 0 and then i will be minus minus in this case. Okay. So this is going to be the for loop and inside this for loop I can just say arr of i equals to I can say arr of i minus 1. This will allow me to shift all the elements to the right hand side of the array. Then what we can do is we can just replace that arr of 0 that means the first index with the last element in this case which will result in putting that last element to the first index of the array. After we have done that we can just go to the main function and inside this main function I can just print c out i can just say uh, rotated array is to print that array i am gonna say here a for loop so for int i equals to zero i will go till less than the size and i will happen plus plus now inside this i can just print c out and i can just print the error out of i now, after printing this, let me just print the spaces also so that it prints in one line and I'm not going to use endl, otherwise it will go into the next line. After this, once it is printed, it will go to the next line and then it will just return 
zero in this case so this is going to be the program for this everyone now in this case this is the function this is the function called what we have done is we have took the last element variable put the last element into this iterated over that array from the rightmost from the last element shifted all the elements by this to the right and then we just put the last element into the first index of the array then we have created the array here took the size we have called that array rotate array function pass the array and the size printed this string rotate array and then printed this uh, array and then move to the next line this is gonna be our code guys if i run this you can see that it prints rotated array as 5 1 2 3 5 1 2 3 4 okay so this is gonna be the program i hope that you have understood the logic in this case guys and uh, that's it for this video guys i hope you have liked this video if you have understood this video give us a, give us a thumbs up if you have any doubts you can ask us in the comment section below and we are gonna help you out with that so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching if you have not subscribed to our channel please subscribe also so like share and subscribe to our channel code is arcade and don't forget to press the bell icon as well and this is ashank david signing off i'll see you guys in the next one